Welcome to Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt, and today we're going to go back to the basics and we're going to just explain the different boat types. Now, there are several classifications that you can identify boats at. One, by the propulsion system. How are they moved through the water? The lifestyle that's associated with them. The building material. What are they made out of? And then the boat or the hull style. I'm going to separate them by the boat and the hull style because I think that's the way most people look at them. But I will talk about these others and I've got a few other videos that I'm going to direct you to so you can learn more about the propulsion of a bow rider or a runabout. Now, it's identified by an open bow area where people can actually sit, made out of fiberglass traditionally, but not always. So let's take a look at four different bow rider styles that are actually four very different boats. So you've got your bow rider runabout, which is just could be a stern drive, uh, or an outboard. You've got a deck boat, which is an open bow, but you can see it's sort of flared in the bow. So it's really wide in the bow versus a narrow bow. That's really the only difference. It can be a stern drive or an outboard as we have here. The jet boat, it looks very similar to the bow rider or the deck boat. The only difference is it's powered with a jet drive system. So it has the engines inboard, but a jet drive versus a propeller drive driven system. And then we have another one that looks very, very similar, but it's a surf boat or a wake boat. And that's different because of the propulsion system. Again, it either has a straight shaft inboard or a V drive inboard, which you'll see on this nautique here. Um, and those are, are best suited for your water sports. Again, I've got another video where I go into the best one for you. Other bow riders are runabouts, aluminum fishing boats, fish and ski. It's a bow rider that has the options to put fishing seats and fishing accessories like a trolling motor, but they can be a stern drive or an outboard. Same thing with the aluminum fishing boat. The big, huge day boats, you'll hear them called, um, are the big bow riders now that they're making 30, 40 feet and bigger. Uh, could be stern drives, could be outboards, could be inboards. But again, it just has that open seating area. And this one actually has a cabin as well. And they're really mixing them up and blurring the lines. And then a dual console, which is really just a bow rider. But on the coast and in the saltwater environment, you'll see them refer to these as a dual console like this Boston Whaler uh, Venture. Next, we'll move to cruisers and cabin boats. You've got your traditional cruiser, which you see right here, a Sea Ray Sundancer. Uh, Regal makes some nice cruisers. You've got a sport fisher, uh, which is a cruiser that's designed to go offshore and really rigged up for fishing with the tuner towers and the outriggers. You've got some center consoles that now start to have cabin boats, cabins in them where they've got a sleeping area, maybe a head, uh, maybe some, um, a, a small galley and some other amenities, air conditioning, things like you've got your cuddy cabin. It's a cabin, but it's very short. You can see that it's not as, as tall as some of these other models. And that means there's just a cabin down there. There may be a small head. There may be a tiny, tiny galley, uh, but there's no way you're going to stand up. It's just really a get out of the sun, some sleeping area. You've got your walk around, which is an offshore fishing boat that has the cabin that's a little bit smaller, uh, head compartment, small sleeping area, maybe a, a galley, uh, but you have kind of fishing access around the boat where you can you can get up on top and you can maneuver a little bit where there's more flat areas designed for maneuverability. Then you have your sport yachts and yachts, which are in that same category, and your trawlers, which are a lot of living space. They don't go very fast. They're going, you know, if you want to do the great loop or some some longer travel, a live aboard, you want to have a lot of space and uh, a lot of fuel economy. As we move to the aluminum fishing boats, these are divided by how they're steered and where they're steered, and then the hull design. So this is a V-Hull tiller handle. This is a flat bottom side console. You can see the side console right here. Here is a modified V center console. You can see the consoles in the middle. 
Here's a side console deep V, and then we have the dual console full windshield deep V. So you can see we've got the two consoles and the full windshield. And then you have your, I, I kind of think of this as the, the Pacific Northwest type boat where you've got a really durable aluminum boat with a pilot house. Um, that's it, you're, Hey, you're going to get up into some, some nasty weather, some, some rocky conditions, some rough chop. You need some higher freeboard, some higher uh, sides of the boat. And then you have your aluminum bass boat. Then you have your catamarans and your multi-hull boat. So this is the uh, the kind of offshore catamaran. There's some smaller, um, you almost think about them as fiberglass pontoons, but then your pontoons are also uh, mono-hull boats. You've got your pontoon in this number two. That is a, a twin pontoon, so a twin-hulled boat, what you traditionally think is a pontoon, and then the tritunes, which are becoming very popular because they give you more structural support, more speed, more buoyancy, more performance on those, uh, but they're really multiple-hulled boats. So if I've got some more for you here. We're going to get into center consoles. If you like the video, hit that like button, um, share and give a comment, ask a question, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Now, center console boats. You have anywhere from a skiff in number one to a flats boat in number two to a bay boat in number three to kind of a hybrid bay boat in number four, center console in number five, and then number six is an offshore center console. Now, the manufacturers are really blurring the lines where it's kind of a skiff, but it's kind of a bay boat. Where's the line between a, a bay boat and and uh, center console, well, that's this hybrid. But how much freeboard? How deep is it? How shallow is the draft? So you may look at several boats that say they're bay boats, but the freeboard is much deeper. The draft is deeper. So it's sort of a not a, a category as it is a, a continuum. Different manufacturers are going to draw the line where they call a certain boat a skiff, a bay boat, uh, flats boat, hybrid, center console, and an offshore boat. Uh, if you go to the first time boat buyers playlist on the channel, I go into a lot of detail about which boat is right for which people. I go into the propulsions a lot more uh, and six important things to know before you start your boat shopping. Those videos in that playlist would be really valuable for you. There's a link up top where that arrow is pointing. So check that out. If you're in the market for buying a boat, take advantage of that free boat buyers toolkit. Just boatbuyersecretweapon.com slash toolkit. You can grab that for free, download it, and remember, life truly is better on a boat.